Today guys, I'm Heinrich and we're going to be taking a look at Next Pro Audio. We're going to be starting off with the HFAs, then moving on to the PFAs, which is an entry level into Next Pro Audio. Then we're going to take a look at the PX system, which is a point source outdoor system, incredibly powerful system. Then we might just take a look at the LA line array as well. We're also going to be taking a look at the HFAs, 2612, which is a vertical array system, and then also taking a look at all the subwoofer options with the cabinets. So let's start off with the HFA 108 as well as the HFA 115. Okay, guys, now taking a look at the HFA 115. The 115 has a 15 inch DNC speaker with a 1.4 inch compression driver, also an active unit with a 1650 watt. RMS class D amplifier, power consumption is about 770 watts. Frequency response of this unit starting at 47 Hz, pushing up to 18 kHz on your highs. Again, impressive part about this unit as well is the SPL rating. SPL is 127.5, also measured at full space. So again, an impressive unit coming in at 28 kg and size about 700 millimeters. We're also going to be taking a closer look at the DSP functionality of this unit. Okay guys, taking a look at the HFA 108. It has an 8 inch BNC speaker with a 1 inch compression driver. This is an active unit with a 500 watt RMS class D amplifier. Power consumption is 550 watts. Cabinet weighing 12 kilograms and coming in at 450 millimeters. Frequency response starting at 68 hertz pushing up to 19 kilohertz. Impressive part about this little unit is the SPL rating coming in at 122 decibels measured at full space. So guys, for a cabinet that's only 450 millimeters weighing only 12 kilograms, to be able to produce 122 decibels measured at full space is quite impressive. We're going to take a closer look at the DSP functionalities of this unit. Taking a look at the back of the unit, we have our standard input and throughput XLR connectors. We have our level adjustment or potentiometer. We have our preset selector switch. We have our power on LED indicator light, as well as a limit protect indicator light. Then our PC connectability running the RS-485 to USB protocol. We have our extractor fan to get rid of all the excess heat. And then we have our power con input, as well as our power con output. Taking a closer look at the presets, we have five factory defined presets and two user defined presets. The five factory presets can be selected via the preset selector switch as well as the two user defined presets. To configure your two user defined presets, all you need to do is connect the RS-485 cable to USB running the Soundware software on your laptop. Then you can adjust the EQ to suit your personal needs or to suit a specific venue. The five factory defined presets can also be selected to make it so much easier just to plug and play and start getting the perfect sound you need for a specific situation. Running the software on your PC, the Soundware software, you also have some DSP functionalities. You can change the EQ, you can change the delay, high pass filter, low pass filter, bass enhancement, which is a quite a, a pretty nice function to have if you're not running a bass bin just to give it a bit of the low end. You can also adjust the level of the unit via the software, polarity change, and you can also mute the unit. You can also view the temperature of the specific unit or running the software. Looking to add some low end to the system, on the 8 inch we would add a 15, which is the HFA 115S, and then on the 15 inch, we would add an 18 inch, which is the HFA 118S HP, or my personal favorite, the LAS 418A, which is a dual sub that goes perfectly with the 115. Applications where you would use these cabinets would be places of worship, venues, pubs, mobile DJs, bands. Guys, if you add 15 inch base bins to these 8 inches. You won't believe the levels that you can produce with a system that still fits in the back of your vehicle, that's compact, that's lightweight. 
If you go and you add 18 inches to these 115s, you'll be able to produce nightclub low ends. With the DSP functionality, you can adjust the cabinets to suit your venue's need or your specific need by the turn of a button. And with the added DSP functions to the base enhancer, you don't even need to add cabinets. The low end would still be sufficient enough for your application. So there you go, guys. If you would like to get in touch with me, just comment below on any one of the videos that we post and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks a lot.